Here we are sitting on the Warrego. How you can see it's a very busy highway. So I'm out here with the signs with Quentin Cunningham for Blair. So just showing you how much traffic a day goes down this road. It's incredible. It just amazes me the amount of traffic on this road and the road holds up. And it's just not cars, it's the amount of trucks. A lot of people just wave, they don't beat the horns, they just don't want to be noticed, but it's good when you get a beep horn. a bit dark at the moment, a bit of cloud coming in. Everyone's starting to put their lights on. Yes, vote one United Australia Party, UAP. We've got to change things in this country. Things have got to change. It's just not right. Allowing those 28 pedophiles to get away, especially in government departments and judges and lawyers and, and police officers, that's just wrong. I'm just reading up on that suppression order. For 90 years, they're protecting those names. They don't like to get their own offender, do they? You and I were in jail the next day, but they're getting away with it? No, it's not right. Definitely not right. The Vatican's trying to protect their priests in the Catholic Church as well. We seem to have two governments in this country. That's not right neither. Some people just jump out, jump out of their car, they're waving at you. <laughs> it's funny actually. It's good, it's really good.
Traffic's very heavy on this motorway in the old Warrego. You know, I used to live on cattle property. You might have saw 10 cars a week. I was born back in the 60s and you know, I never come to Brisbane of course in those days, or 70s. It was not till the 80s I got a license and I started travelling around a little bit, seeing things. But it just makes you realise when you're living in a city close to Brisbane or Sydney or whatever, the amount of cars on the road. I laugh when the Greens want to shut down mining because <laughs> everything comes from mining. All our steel and our aluminium and our copper and everything the car's made from comes from mining. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. Look at all those big power lines there, you know. We've got to have power lines for our power. We've got to have coal for our power. Yes, it'd be nice to have nuclear, but we still got to have coal to make the steel, to make the nuclear power stations. There's just, just no logic to their bullshit. It's just, it's just weird how people think, oh no, no mining. Well, that's not gonna happen, is it? You've got to have mining. You've just got to have it. It's a big industry and it's not gonna stop. Magnificent. A friend of mine who just rang me up before he's going to bring me a coffee, which I really appreciated. I should have I should have bought me thermos. My old thermos is broke and I only had it for 40 years. <laughs> well almost 30 years I suppose, then it broke. I had to throw it away. I just broke it in. It just had the right taste in it. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll get another one. There's an old Stanley. They used to be green. I think they've been green ever since they made them. But they just never stopped making them green. So many caravans on the road tells me that a lot of people are going to start living on the road but they just can't afford to have a house and pay the rates. Rates is going to become one of the next big serious things because the government are pushing people off their homes, out of their homes. It's like this farming thing. The rates on properties, cattle properties, has just become ridiculous. It's unsustainable. You can't keep charging and charging and charging more rates and insurance and, and the cost of things going up. It's got to come to an end somewhere. People can't pay $20 for a lettuce and, or whatever and um, expect the price to still go up. It's just, that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. It's all got to come to an end. It's all got to stop. It really has. You know, fuel costs have got to come down, insurances have got to come down, there's got to be a system where it's fairer and more equitable. You know, I, I know the inflation's gone through the roof and, and some wages have gone up very well, but a lot of people are living on the minimum. There's a big fella coming up this back road here, up Ashburn Road. You know, my dad bought an old FJ Holden. I think he told me it was 27, 2700 pounds at the time. You know, you go and buy a Holden today, a Holden Ute, which I don't think you can anymore, not brand new. But when they sell those Milus and that sort of thing, what are they, 50, 60, 70 grand? <laughs> oh, God, God, that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Gee, those guys, those um, back trucks are sucking up a lot of stuff somewhere. 
They come past here every half hour. And not just one, there's like six or seven of them. You know, it's very interesting watching how much fuel has been driven down that road every day. And we've got a supp fuel supply in Australia of only a week of fuel. <laughs> God, we're in trouble, aren't we? Oh my God. And I'm only sitting on one highway into Brisbane. Imagine sitting on the Gold Coast Road and the Cunningham Highway and, and um, Northern Highway, the A1 Highway. You know, there's just so many people coming into Brisbane. You go out through Kashmir, up through those northern northern areas. You know, the amount of cars that just go to the shops every day. And Brisbane's only a small city, it's only two and a half million people. You go to a place like Los Angeles, or Manila, or Bangkok, or Mexico. The amount of fuel they must use per day. America's fuel is incredible. They've got so many cities. 360 million people live there. So you may as well say there's over 100 million cars that every day would be driving down the roads, and that, plus their trucks, transport industry. And here they are trying to shut down farming in America, the way they're going on over there. All these, all these um, companies over there that produce food or manufacture the foods or process foods getting destroyed. You know, in Australia here, there's, the, the uh, movement at the moment is they're going to cut the cattle herd down to 10% of what it is today. So the, the population of cattle in Australia is around about 25 million, I think it is, something like that. So they're going to cut it down to 10%. So what, 250,000 head of cattle? Won't be an industry left, will there? Are they going to shoot, shoot all the dogs and wild cats and all the pigs and buffalo, everything else, to destroy the cattle industry as well. That's just crazy. There's millions of camels out there. They're gonna shoot all the camels too. Shoot all the possums, all the koalas, all the kangaroos. 30 million koala, uh, kangaroos in Australia. They're gonna shoot all them too. My okay. God. Cattle carrier, see there's a cattle carrier. Anyhow, I'll um, end that video there because it's too long now. It's probably it's, uh, 13 minutes. It's a good little video.